so today i'm going to show you a little bit more of the results of the dr uh, it's our i think it's a 34 inch brush cutter brush and field cutter and we have these woods there's about 40 acres of woods on this creek here and you see the thick stuff over there well that's what this looked like until i came back here with the dr and uh, this area is what we call the islands and the reason we call it that is of course this time of year the water's down and you've got all these pretty little islands in through there that you can hop from one to the other and check it out so we thought we would have us a picnic table prepare the ground a little bit maybe put a picnic table a couple chairs maybe even a fire pit right here this would be a great place to hang out and enjoy again it, it looks so thick just just like this stuff prior to coming in here and you can see where the water when it when it floods it washes over the, the regular creek bank and it it comes in and circles around this thing and goes on out that way and out that way so over time i'm hoping to uh, fix all these spots where it's washing through so they'll stay on this creek line here and and keep on trucking down that way <coughs> but yeah pretty nice i'll show you some more dr action today but i thought you'd enjoy seeing what it looks like after got a big old dead tree right here that we've been working under i didn't even notice it at first it was so covered up with everything and so i have to chainsaw out and cut that one down that's a big accident waiting to happen right there and so we've also got some i cut trails around that way we've got three points so far at the creek just like that one that's to me that's probably the prettiest one because of the islands but uh you got all these cool where these ruts have been formed due to the water flow all through this property on this side we've got these nice little ruts and hills here so the four-wheeler would well, that, that'd be a good time go up and down and run around there some of this area is tight and so it's a little dangerous for kids to go through here too fast but i'll show you this other area up here by the creek that we cut out these woods are awesome there's all these vines my wife and i we were just talking about how cool these are it's like tarzan i just swing from one to the other so here's the other area that i cut out I was thinking about joining the two honey what do you think about us getting rid of some of those woods in the middle those uh, stuff in the middle and join these areas nice. that would be good we got the dr down there at another spot right now that i'll show you in a second but i'll have to bring it back over here at the end of the day and we'll just open this up right here so we can walk right through there to that area where the islands are and just make this one large area excuse me i don't want to i'm not looking to you know open it up completely uh because as you can see here we're trying to keep people from coming from that side i actually own to the creek or to the middle of the creek and that property owner owns to the middle of the creek uh we've not met them yet but we've talked to them they seem like great people on the phone uh so i don't think that's a problem i'm just thinking about since they've not moved there yet all the potential hunters or people out just being nosy coming across and so i don't want to clear out a lot of this just every i don't know probably every 50 to 100 yards just depending on the actual uh, you know landscape uh, if it's a great place like this you bet i'm going to be clearing it out this is going to be an awesome trails for the grandkids to be coming through walking and enjoying nature maybe one day we'll have some horses this would be awesome for horse riding uh, but definitely for four-wheelers and for little red here but uh trying to make it wide enough so i can get the tractor down through here so i can pull out a bunch of these fell trees that are all over the place some of it's good wood that might be good for timber but most of it would be good for firewood if nothing else all right we'll show you the next spot here in just a second all right so i was just going to show you this is where we enter the trails right here the one i just showed you goes out that way and then i have a trail going out that way that i've not completed yet 
uh, we've also got them on the other side of the property and this one I'm going to show you right now this one's pretty cool uh, just so you know this DR is uh, pretty remarkable it I, I've not encountered anything that it chokes down on and doesn't cut um, I was I think I've said this before but I was told uh, here's a good example this tree right here if you raise that thing back enough and you hit this tree if it will bend it over that blade will start hitting it and it'll start cutting it there's nothing else you can cut this thing down then you can come back on it and you can get it down low probably just about five inches up off the ground but who needs a skid steer right I mean if I had the money I'd have a, a skid steer I if I had the money to spend on a skid steer, I would have a skid steer. But I know that actually this is fun doing it. No doubt I'd love to knock it out faster and even better. But if you're on a budget of any kind, you can invest in a good DR uh, or Swisher. I've got a Swisher pull behind. My, my plan with the Swisher is to pull it behind the four-wheeler now that I've already established the trails. But before you establish the trails, it looks a lot like that. And so you don't necessarily want to be driving your four-wheeler through that, although I've done it. Uh, did it yesterday, and I actually broke a little piece off of the guard on the bottom of the front end of the four-wheeler. So the less I do that with the four-wheeler, the better. Uh, the DR will truck right through it and take it as we go. So I'm going to take you up the trail and show you the third spot that we've made it to the creek. And then we're gonna be in working on the fourth spot, getting there, and we'll kind of show you that journey as we go. So check it out. Here's some nice humps here. As I mentioned before, where the water comes through when it overflows the creek bed. We got them all through here, which is pretty awesome for trails and for four wheeling or for anything, because you get some movement. This big tree had fell all the way across up that way. So I cut this center section out and winched it over there just yesterday. Here's a little red. And my handy grandchildren seats on the back. And here's the creek on up here there's my good old dr and if, if you're new to the channel and you've not really not seen the dr and got to see the model and so on this is a 22 horse it's one of the larger engines that they sell briggs and stratton this thing's 34 inches i think in width it's the biggest one that they have that you walk behind um and two paths and you've pretty much definitely three paths and you or passes and you've gotten a good trail that you can pretty much ride anything through including a pretty decent sized tractor so yeah it's a it's a tough machine let me tell you something that happened to me yesterday so i told you that i cut that log and i winched it out of the way well the reason i did that i actually jumped over it with this of course that was without the blade engaged i got over here cutting let me show you this as I'm talking. This is the area that this happened in. But yeah, this is my other spot to the creek. Really nice area. See now, I didn't attempt cutting this one with the DR. I can't get my hand around it. But uh, things not much smaller than that I did cut. Here's some examples. And this is on a hill so I didn't get down as far as it normally does. But yeah, that's a good example. And it will leave some of this stuff up. You can get it down a little lower than that. But I didn't cut that one and so on. But this is a not a bad area. You can see where the creek has overflown on back upstream. And it's come around here and it's sitting here kind of stagnant right now. We're in November so we've not gotten a lot of range yet for the winter. It's coming and this will overflow. Go down that bank and cruise on. It'll even come across here. You can see where it's been up that way. So when it's down we can enjoy it out here even walk up the creek a little bit skip from side to side and when it's up we'll be up here on the bank but anyway what i was saying is uh so i got stuck on a big big log i didn't get well yeah it got stuck it got wedged between the back wheel and the mower deck or the cutter deck and it lifted that uh, dr up in the air and i'm like why is it not moving 
and I looked and I had a big old log right in here where my arm is just right there so I lifted this thing up from the front which by the way you can do and check it out uh, by the way I, I paid for the heavier duty blade a little thicker and I've got the original that came with it it looks almost as thick as this one the original does but I thought well they offer a heavy duty when I want to get it anyway I turned the thing off when I noticed this and then I pulled that log out and then I came back up here put it in neutral like I always do to start it I uh, dropped you know make sure this was disengaged and it was and I got nothing absolutely nothing by the way look i've got 12 hours on this thing it looks like uh this i i bought extra i paid extra for not much just a few bucks anyway this thing wouldn't start and i noticed this was hanging off and i remember there's a couple things hanging off from the manufacturer uh this might go to a light i'm not sure well there was another thing hanging off and i thought well i don't know where it goes because apparently i wasn't thinking straight but this piece right here was hanging off and come to find out after taking it up to the dealer on my trailer which required me to winch it out of here and strap it to my four-wheeler little blue and uh, pull it out of here and then take it all the way up to the dealer i told him i said there's a couple wires hanging off i don't see where it goes to i don't know why i did not notice that spot well this happens to be the neutral switch or it, it lets the machine know that it's in neutral when it's in neutral and he walked out there and he looked right i told him where it happened right over here and he i said there's one hanging right there and of course i already knew that and he said well let's just connect it <laughs> and so we did and it started right up which made me very happy but it also made me feel a little stupid but hey now i know and now i'm teaching you and now you know if that ever happens to you check that first okay all right well let's get to cutting and see uh if we can get through some of this thick stuff and get on up to there's another area that i've walked up through this area of the creek and i see a pretty pretty spot where we've got a nice area that we can enjoy a little beach action up there too so we're going to get through these woods and cut that way i'm going to have to move some big logs first in order to do that so we'll be right back with you with the the big dr Here's a little tough. Hold up, I'm gonna 
come back with the chainsaw and get a lot of this bigger stuff. This one has uh, big openings between the big trees over here, between like this one and that one. But there's a lot of bigger stuff that uh, might require chainsaw. So we're going to get what we can get with the DR and then we're going to come back and focus on that. So we did a little walking and we found the path of least resistance. In fact, it's a, another path where water has overflowed and it's a beautiful area. And uh, we were going the right direction, but instead of angling to the right soon, we're gonna angle to the left and swoop around and come back into the creek. So let's do this. Get up here where the DR is at. I'm gonna have to cut this down with the chainsaw. I could get a lot of that small stuff, but that big one. Right there, we're gonna have to get the chainsaw. Clean this little area up. But the DR is just right up here. This is just a rough end. But yeah, you can see up in there where the forest really clears out. Not nearly as much underbrush. So we're gonna sweep out into that and go down and sweep back in. Hopefully it's the right choice.
you know how I said I'm cutting some pretty big trees? Well, let me show you what happened. So this is the tree that I just cut with it. Leaned it back, caught it right here. This one is, let's see, how big around would you say that is? It's, it's taken from that finger to almost to the middle of my thumb. So that's certainly not three inches in diameter. Uh, maybe around two. Now down lower it might be, but I didn't get down lower. I'm up here. Well, it, it threw my belt off. So I just took the uh, took the top off this. It just you just got to remove that, take the panel off, and then you can see the belt. It rolls around this one back here, this pulley back here, and it was off back here. Comes up around this one and this one, and I just put it back on. I did notice that I have what looks like the beginnings of a where this thing's gonna tear if it's going to tear, but. Uh, I'm about to crank it back up and see if it'll cut. We shall see. In either case, this is going back on. Because if it doesn't cut, I'm pretty going to call it a day on this and then take it up to the garage and figure it out from there. But I have a feeling that I might be good. So let's, let's check it out. But I might want to stay away from that. It's hard on it. Done in neutral. I've disengaged the blade. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the blade engages. This trail, as you can see, it's pretty well cut. I cut all the way from where you see saw me leave off a while ago. Down there, that tree in the center, the tall one, the big one. I mean. There's a lot of tall ones. Um, anyway, I came up through here. And we are almost to the creek over here. Got a couple of little pieces I missed along the way, but cutting through here, that was a job. We got briars hanging off these limbs. I want you to look. This is a small one. There's some big ones here. Look at that briar. Those are some thorns. Briar thorns. I'm not sure what they are, but they hurt. All right. So the creek's right up here. We're going to get a little footage of me clearing this little area here. Opening it up so that we can have a little bit better access here. This is the tie. When we were surveying the property, this is the little flag, the orange plastic that they strapped on here. And what they would do when they would survey, they had someone up in the field with one device holding it up there, some kind of laser. We'd tie this off where we were at with the other laser and they would see it through the trees. And luckily it was in the winter time. And uh, so you could see through here a little bit better. So they would get that measurement and then we would measure out to the center of the creek and we would add let's say it was 20 feet to the center of the creek or 15 feet we would add that 15 or 20 feet to this measurement that we have here and that would give us our border 
and we did that all the way up and down this creek every time it had a nook and cranny we would stop there do the measurement once again and uh that's how we are we know for sure that every inch of this creek we have to the center of the main creek bed not just where it's diverting off on the inside but the main creek as it uh, was naturally formed sun's starting to get a little low we got rain coming in tomorrow probably about six in the morning and it's going to rain till mid-afternoon and we need that for the seed that we put on the lawn up there on the topsoil but we got so many leaves on the topsoil covering the straw now i'm not sure if it's going to get sun at all i may have to clean it off before the spring comes so here we go
we still rolling? Yep. Okay. So we're almost done, guys. I'm about to cut this video down. It's going to be shorter than, uh, well, it's going to be long, but uh, it's about to end. So check it out. Come here and look at this, sweetie. This is awesome. This is a nice area. What I love about this is it seems more private than those other ones because you got thicker woods over there on the other side of the creek, but you also have some thick stuff, some larger trees on the border here. We'll cut something with some hedge trimmers or something. We'll get down in there and we eat or whatever, and we'll get this stuff near the creek. But this is great. Wave. This is awesome. Now, we don't have the best access down here uh, to get in. If I cut over that way a little more, there's a, a step off that we can get better access. So that'll be a project coming soon. But uh, yeah, this is pretty phenomenal. I love it. It bends in toward our property here. And uh, that's why we got a higher bank on this side. That's good. But I also like having it where it's bending out and then you have, uh, you know, the gravel kind of like over there on that side and what we've done in other places. But we're going to call it a day for the DR. Go check on the dogs in the cabin. We're uh, babysitting our... In fact, let's check, make sure we've not received a call because our daughter is a week overdue from having our fourth grandchild. And we've got her dog along with our two dogs so we have Luna, aka Baby Doll, Bambi, and Remy. Remy is our daughter's dog. So here we go. Back to the barn. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Like it. Uh, comment below. And we'll see you next time here at the lovely place.